Hi, so this video is about to demonstrate the uh, pipeline that will create a operating system image that can be used for our Azure Virtual Desktops. And um, I think we all agree that creating an operating system image by hand, um, by for example installing a virtual machine, updating it, installing language packs, etc. Um, is, you know, if I do it, 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 it looks this way. If someone else is doing it, uh, it may look a different way. So we have a configuration drift here. Um, it would be good to have something like a fixed process and an automated process of doing this. Um, and this can be done with this pipeline here. The pipeline uses uh, an Azure server, which, which, which is called Azure Image Builder. And um, this pipeline is the as you will, the automation or the infrastructure as code manifestation of using this service in our scenario. So I'm launching this pipeline. Um, as you've seen, it doesn't take um, lots of input parameters. Um, let me speed up that up a little bit. And um, let's have a look into um, the YAML file, you'll find the resources under the image directory and there you can see an Azure image builder dot YAML file, which is this one here. And it's copying out the resources that it needs for, uh, you know, creating uh, the Azure image builder artifacts. That are in uh, that are these two now one directory and one template. It puts it into a storage account and deploys the um, deploys it using an ARM deployment against the subscription. So once the storage account is there and the contents have been uploaded, you should see that you have some parts or some new files in your artifacts directory which is under the containers setup artifacts and there you have these files you'll find in the setup artifacts folder in your code repository they have been copied over to the storage account and from there on they are being deployed into the win uh, the windows image that is about to create azure image builder does its stuff using a managed identity um, so um, this this is something that will be created here um, a managed identity is like you know an, a user account that is being used for automating things that are working against an azure subscription right um, you may not want to give this um, managed identity um, uh, rights all over your subscription. Uh, so you can confine it to, for example, um, have only permissions to the resource group in which it resides in. Um, and I think this is the way I did it. So once the deployment of this managed identity is done, um, Azure can now use this identity to create um, this virtual machine image, for example. And before creating a virtual machine image, um, Azure Image Builder needs an image template, uh, which is a description about how to get to that image. Um, it contains, for example, the information uh, which kind of virtual machine type or temporary virtual machine type we should use for creating the virtual uh, for creating the uh, the Im uh, image. Um, maybe a base operating system to start from, uh, and also maybe additional steps that need to be run after uh, the operating system and the virtual machine has been provisioned, uh, because you want to customize it, obviously. And um, creating that image um, template or um, uploading it to Azure should work quite fast. However, building the image is 
uh, the, that piece that takes most of the time because it will spin up a virtual machine uh, based on the settings in the image template. Um, it will, you know, install the operating system. Um, it will, um, uh, it will do any additional steps that you have specified uh, after that. In my case, it's running a script, and after that, you know, it will do the uh, sys prep, um, shut it down, and capture the image. So this will be taking roughly, I think, about yeah. Uh, 30 to 40 minutes and I'll speed it that up for saving you some time so what happens during the uh, building phase um, a temporary resource group is going to be created you'll see that one here it has a long name and if you look into what is happening there you see some artifacts are being created uh, basically it's a virtual machine uh, a temporary virtual machine which gets uh, the operating system you, you've chosen before in your uh, image template um, and it yeah it does the provisioning of that virtual machine it does the post provisioning steps as specified in your image template for example like uh, running scripts that do updates install other software and whatnot and in the end um, it will be sys prepped shut down and an image will be taken and um, that takes some minutes so i'll uh, speed it that up so once that virtual machine is being created we are not done um, there are post installation scripts uh, that are being executed and depending on what you do there it takes more or less time and once they are finished um, Azure will capture the image it will do a snapshot of that hard disk and that takes also some time and once this is finished the image will be removed and um, remaining is um, the, uh, the Windows 10 image that can be used now for creating new Azure Virtual Desktops.